Friday morning. Monday afternoon, hello. I have this. It's Biscoff Crunchy Spread. And I'm a bit confused about the crunchy one, because I don't understand how a spread like Biscoff can be crunchy because it's a biscuit. So. It's gonna be bits of biscuit in it. Ooh, that sounds a bit gross. I'm not gonna complain too much because Biscoff is a dream come true. But yeah, I'd rather start stick with the smooth. If I had an option, I'd choose the smooth. Hello, and look what I'm doing. Woohoo! I am organising my tools. Well, it doesn't look very grand, but excuse the washing. There's a load more around here. Thankfully, my dad doesn't watch the vlogs because my dad gave me a load of these tools. And as, a, as I've been working, I've just been like, brr, brr, just put it in a bag, brr. But um, now we're near, nearly finished. I need to organise them. <gasps> Thankfully, none of them are broke, Dad, if you're watching. But, um, yeah, it's just organising them so they're not in about 17,000 different ginormous Sports Direct bags, which can be really handy when you're decorating. There's one country I really want to go to in the world, which is Vietnam. And along with going to Vietnam because of the culture and everything about it, the main, main, main reason is for the food. Specifically, summer rolls, these here. <clears throat> they're basically spring rolls, but they're the fresh ones. Obviously we have tofu instead, not the shrimp that you can get in most shops. And so I have decided to try and make them. Oh, actually I, obviously I bought these from a Korean shop near where I work. So I've got those, but I've looked at recipe online. I was like, okay, great. And I bought everything, um, for my food shop, perfect. Then I went to get some of the stuff out of the fridge. Didn't buy all the ingredients I needed, did I? I forgot to get bell peppers. Oh well, we will survive without them. But, I don't care. So far, we've got some carrots, cucumber and spring onions, some coriander and mint here. Annoying me it's in plastic, not ideal. Cooked some noodles, done some tofu. Now I've got to do these things. I wonder why they taste like raw. The temptation to try this raw is quite high. <laughs> Don't taste of anything. <laughs> right, let me make it properly. I haven't got a bowl big enough. Where's the green <laughs> Oh, I broke it. Oh, a disaster is happening. <sighs> Down at the bottom of the garden, where there are birds and the bees, there's a bunch of little people. God, they're pulling to peace. Just disintegrating. We'll call this attempt one. Tastes like it's meant to. Really? Not nothing. Oh, no, it's weird. No, I don't want to eat that. Not working. With a, let's do a fake one. My noodles are all ruined. Oh, disaster central this is. Oh no. This is why I need to go to Vietnam. Hello. Just try this because it actually. Oh, it softens up. Oh. It's very thick. Oh, look, it's actually done all right. I understand. Attempt one. Mmm. beginning to feel like a rap god. Rap god. All my people from the front to the back now. I just want you all to know that um, I am living proof. The, the practice makes perfect. I say perfect, loosely. Attempt number one. It's cucumber hanging out, a bit dodgy, not so good. Attempt number two. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I hear ya. 
If you work in a Vietnamese restaurant and you need someone to wrap your rice noodle things, don't call me because it's so boring. Still got so much more to do. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello. It is now five to eleven. As you saw earlier, we were in Pizza Express and we were just about to film and the lovely waiter went and plonked a couple right beside us. So it was kind of awkward. So, as you saw, we had the vegan, the Pizza Express vegan pizza, which was delightful. It had sort of vegan cheese, uh, artichokes, olives and tomato. Caroline's really impressed with herself. Oh, my lips are like pink. Oh. She went and bought something and it looks like this what is it so it's a, it's a shiwi <laughs> <laughs> gross it's so uh, our eco, eco egg can sit in there it's not gonna get in the way is it <laughs> no but yes what? the reason that we went to pizza express tonight We went to see, what's it called? The Quiet? A Quiet Place. A Quiet Place. A Quiet Place, wasn't it? Do I have um, Directed by John... Gwazowski. Mike Gwazowski, um, who, Mike is, Gwazowski. who is Jim Halpert from the American Office. Yeah, man. And Emily Blunt, who's the new Mary Poppins. Oh, <laughs> and so it was happened. fantastic. It was superb. It was... Just brilliant. John Krasinski's not going to see this. I was sucking up to him. John, you've done the great acting. Emily, um, um, I, I told you last night at dinner, it was great. Great, great film. If you're really there, friend, we said Jimmy and M. J and E. Uh, wicked. Jamie. J. J. Uh, you know, it was a really good film. Not, not boring at all. Like this conversation is. And a good horror. <laughs> Jamie, Jay, 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 Jamie, Jay, 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 whenever I want to, all I got to do is sing. Is it sing or is it? Dream. Dream, 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 dream. We'll see you tomorrow, I think, hopefully. Peace. Adios, amigos. Peace. Hey, Tom Dance. Dee 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 dee. Yeah, yeah. Little kid, little John. Little Kim. Little Kim. We are in a place called. What's this called, Caroline? Aaron Genie Brothers. Brothers. And we're gonna get a burger. And as you can tell, they're just about to close, so we're being those annoying customers. And here it is. Oh, what have I got? A fat, fat gay vegan one. That's good. And Caroline's got a chorizo one. Yeah. Right, we've got to eat these, because we're going to a show. What's the impression? It's really good. It smells and it tastes pretty much like a Big Mac. Not that that's good, but <laughs> you know. And we're home. Much later than we thought. It's actually quarter to midnight right now. So after our um, burgers from the Arancini Brothers, which was delicious, we went to see my brother in a show, my, my little brother's an actor, and it was very good. But it finished quite late. And as Caroline put on Twitter and asked if uh, people wanted to see a 46 minute vlog, which is how l the smallest amount I could edit our 
last weekly vlog down to or whether they wanted to see that or edited even shorter people want to see the 46 minute so i'm going to upload that tomorrow morning at work because the internet's a lot quicker but i've just had to do the thumbnail now so yes and now i've got to make the juices so i'm going to do that and then we're going to take ourselves to bed because i have the gym in the morning super duper days we shall see you tomorrow a uh, goodbye hello hello so it is five to nine and we've just got back we have just been to our final wedding meeting where she ran through all the things and made sure um oh we have one more apparently from to carry on. so our second to last one so it was making sure that everything was in order and they have everything written down so they can charge us a million pounds. It's not gonna cost that much because I wouldn't get married if it did. Anywho, I have some, let me just turn the oven on quickly for Caroline. I've just got some amazing post. Oh, 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 oh. Tickets are here, today is a great day. Tickets, tickets, tickets to the Harry Potter play. I cannot wait. Look at my socks, they are Mickey Mouse. Yes, so our tickets are here for Harry Potter and I am extremely excited. I can't wait, I literally cannot wait. And I love the fact that it takes an entire day. We're going on a Saturday. Uh, so it means the first show is at 2.30 in the afternoon and then the second show is at 7.30 which means it's an entire day dedicated to Harry Potter. Yay. How it should be. How it should be. Yay! How it should be. There should be a day for Harry Potter. My legs are tired. I've done so much walking. I went to the gym, what did you do today? Uh, I, oh my god! I worked really hard. Anyway, we are gonna now make some pizzas because it's from scratch, because it's nice dough. and easy. With our own dough. And then... With our own dough. With our own dough, that's what Caroline wants to say. And then we'll probably go to bed, you know? I think I'm gonna watch every single episode of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Brooklyn Nine-Nine for Caroline, but we'll probably watch that in bed. And then tomorrow is Friday. It's not how you say that, Sean. How is, okay, Friday. No, it's tomorrow is Friday, Friday. Gonna get down on Friday. Everybody's looking for the weekend, weekend. Oh, so that's getting in. <laughs> <laughs> Whose shoes are these? Mine. I could have broken a toothpick, you know. <coughs> We're just about to have pizza, and that's a big mouthful of noodles from Caroline right there. She's watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine on her phone, eating what could have been a lunch for tomorrow. Just plain noodles, no way, it's a rubbish lunch. It's a perfect snack though. Anywho, these are the pizza bases we use. <laughs> These are the pizza bases we use. They look like these. We figured out that's the base. And what we're gonna have on it is some herb and tomato puree as the base. We don't actually have any cheese, but we're not fussed. Um, and then we've got pineapple slices, mushrooms, and spinach. And that's pretty much it. And then they go in the oven for about 12 minutes. And here we have it. it looks a bit burnt. But that's just the sauce on the sides. I found a bit of vegan cheese in my one. Caroline doesn't like this cheese. It's like a pepper flavoured cheese from uh, Tesco. But yeah, um, mushrooms, pineapple, spinach, a bit of vegan cheese. And there we have it. Voila. Evening. It's Friday today. The best day of the week. Because I don't have work tomorrow. Although well, technically Saturday would be the best day because you don't have to go to work. But anyways, I'm home alone at the minute because Sean has gone to B&Q because we live that kind of 
wildlife on a Friday. I've made dinner. I've made pea and mint risotto with mushroom in because we had some in the fridge. And because I think I am a Michelin star chef, I've added asparagus to it. I didn't mean for it to be like a cross though. Come on now. Hello, um, it is Sunday evening, so this is the end of the weekly vlog. Um, I'm pretty certain it's to be quite a short vlog this week, but as last week was 45 minutes, I think short is probably adequate. Um, I'll just show you what we're having for dinner. Um, it's vibrant to say the least. <laughs> it is beetroot pesto pasta with spinach obviously to make it a bit more nutritional. And we've got a whole lot left for lunch tomorrow. So yeah, it's very pink. Um, beetroot is meant to be very, very good for you. And I'm not the biggest fan of beetroot. And so I have been weaning myself onto it recently. And so here we are having a full blown beetroot meal. And so if I don't like it, tough luck to me. And I made it, so I can't even whinge. Show, anyway. Show them the, um, so I showed them when it was cracked. And now Sean has painted, whoop, well the washing, has painted the fireplace. I'll show you that now. There you go. Look at it, it doesn't look so cracked anymore. It's not as dark as I wanted. Hi. It's not as dark as I wanted it, so. Maybe it dries darker. Maybe it dries darker. If not, I'll have to buy another itty bitty little paint pot. And what's that you're holding there, Sean? <sighs> My trinket tray that this I love. trinket tray. That Sean made me break. I did not make her break it. But I'm gonna be using this. I'm gonna be using this. <laughs> Four wedding, wedding centerpieces. centerpieces. Watch this space. It was my trinket tray where I kept my ring and my watch because I don't have many trinkets. Um, and Sean said, "Well, oh, that'd be quite good for our Little Mermaid themed table." And I was like, "You can't have it. That's mine." And he tried to see if he could unscrew it, and there's obviously no screw. It's just glued down. And so today, when Sean was not paying attention, I snapped it, and then I cried. <laughs> <laughs> I shed a tear or three because I was like, oh, what have I done? I love that trinket tray. It was from Primark and I think it was 50p on the sale rack. So I'm not sure why I've made an, att um, an emotional attachment to it. But the thing is though, that once we've finished with it, we can always glue it back to the plate if we don't lose the plate. Or I can just buy a new one and get over it. But you know. Anyway, this is the end of this weekly vlog. We're going to eat our bright pink pesto pasta and tidy up this kitchen because to make this was a bit of a disaster. So there's that, there's the top of the beetroot which we're going to use for, use for something else. Some of the ingredients and this is the little drawer which had our blender in it. Oh. I didn't even need the blender in the end, I should have just used a pokey old Nutribullet because my food processor is rubbish. Oh well, right, going to go eat this, we're going to have some garlic bread with it and it's going to be delightful. See you next week. Bye. Bye.